Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brothers Grim Duck. Today we have a new segment which I like to call Warhammer from the Beginning with Dean Kara. Hello. Here we have Jeremy. No, <laughs> obviously <laughs> Dean with us today. Um, and this is just going to be kind of a quick Q and A of going through Dean's first experience painting mm -hmm, models. Mm -hmm, so he's mm -hmm. kind of been interested in the hobby for a little while. Is that fair to say? But mm -hmm. haven't sort of jumped right into it yet. I think so. Yeah, I think it's uh, more of a case of uh, trying to. It's more of a push as well to get into it, and you know, yeah. it's so you you sort of a little while ago Dean bought an army, but um, which we'll go into at some point, not yet. But uh, he was sort of like trying to come up with a color scheme, and didn't sort of come up with something. Wasn't sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, so and like learning techniques and stuff. So when me and Rowan set up this channel, what we decided to do was basically give Dean an army to paint um, for us because you know we like cheap labour uh, <laughs> and as part of that you know we teach Dean some skills of mm. painting and how to play the game which helps yeah, yeah so help. so I sort of came up with sort of tag team effort with, from me and Rowan and then with Dean at the end I sort of came up with a colour scheme for this army which we'll get into in just a moment and um, which I thought would look cool and be quite different and then Rowan sort of figured out how to translate that onto the model and then we kind of talked Dean through the different techniques they needed to learn to paint that up and he's yep. been doing that over the last yeah. month or so. And yeah, but the month and it's in it's it is a lot easier. I think when you know uh you've got kind of got, when your you've got like a structure, yeah, you can it just makes it easier and then as you're doing that, it helps with the techniques, I think, knowing exactly what you're doing. And I think it is easier by if you're doing it yourself. Um, if you, you, you think too much on it. Yeah, you, know, you can I sort of go, the... oh, I like this bit, or I didn't like that, and you sort of don't know how to get the effect that you want and uh, what the... when you're just starting out. Exactly, and the different paints, yeah. what they do, yeah. I, how I, it affects. Obviously, you know. with Citadel paints, you've got all these technical paints and washes <laughs> and things, and it can be a bit of a Lots minefield paints. just starting out. Um, so, paints. yeah, Rowan came up with a really great scheme, um, and... D yeah, D and there was only D maybe six, six or seven paints, I think. Yeah, in, really, in, really, in, yeah, really quick scheme. Which, yeah, yeah. You know, you obviously can't do for every army, but what Dean has been painting up for us is Necrons. Necrons, which is very cool. And at this point, through the magic of editing, there were probably some photos of them coming onto your screen. Um, so Dean has painted up right now, <laughs> right about no. now. Now, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dean has painted up five hundred points of Necrons, yep. which is a great. Um, starting point enough for a little game, so maybe you know, so shortly you will see him playing with those minis as well on the channel. Um, I'll, I'll do my best. And you, you, you <laughs> better. <laughs> 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 Came uh, all the way to Edinburgh for it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So, kind of talk us through like what it's been like painting like your first <laughs> models and what you've learned, even you know, just with the different paints and techniques and things. Uh, I think the big thing I've learned is it's, and I mean this in a good way, it's not as complicated as uh, as I first thought. Yeah. Um, okay. I think when you look at the amount of paints that there is, you kind of get a bit bamboozled about the amount of colours, how you're supposed to apply them. Yeah. Which is uh, initially was my one of the you know. Yeah. When you were. Just Starting, starting to paint your, your own army, which you will move on to at some point, and, we'll, and yes. we'll help you with them as well. Yes. But we're going to keep that under wraps, what Dean, what Dean has tucked away for himself um, <laughs> for a later date. But yeah, it, it helps, I think, you know, when you've got, because Rowan very kindly printed out a, a crib sheet for you of like, which, the which, order to paint things, yeah. everything, and, and everything. And I, I did get to the point where I was referring to it at the start, but then as you go, you don't need it as yeah, much. You just sort of learn. At times, I do just if you forget the name of the paint and you're like, well, what's that one? What's that one? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah you kind of get into a rhythm with it, especially when you're kind of painting when you're five, paint, five when, models you sort, or whatever. You just kind of exactly yeah. can zone out and go, oh, yeah, this bit, you know, you're just painting by numbers. You go, oh, this color goes on this bit. That goes bit, in that bit. That goes in that bit. Oh, now I need to do a dry <coughs> brush here over whatever. And, yeah. But, you know, I think Dean's done an amazing job. Well, thank you, Lyndon. For his first effort. Thank you very much. And, you know, we're really excited to get them on the channel sometime. Yeah, and yeah. And back on the channel for a game with them. A big fat game. A big fat game. Because, yeah, you've sort of dabbled in playing games as well a little we, bit. We've played in the past. Yeah. Um, and they're, unless you're playing it regularly, I think you do kind of forget 
the rules and, and what you're supposed to be doing and roles and stuff, but I'm, we'd like to kind of get yeah, okay, more into right. just so we can understand and not have to ask you every <laughs> second of, you know, what do I do? Yeah, um, well, kind of on that note, we will have been back on the channel to do the second segment of Warhammer from the beginning. So we've got the painting and hobby side here, but we're also going to have a gaming side where I will be kind of coaching Dean through the rules to begin with and then hopefully before long he'll be all trained up and how to play the game and we will have a fully fledged third presenter showing on the channel. Hopefully that's the plan. That's the plan, that's yeah, the which plan. would be, be very good. Which would be fantastic. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I think that's kind of everything we have. Oh, actually, of the units you've painted, mm -hmm. so you've painted 10 warriors. Yep. You've painted a royal warden to lead your warriors. Yes. You've painted some scarabs and prop, uh, and you've painted the canoptic spider. That's the big fella. That's the big fella, yeah. And you've also painted three of the scorpic destroyers. That's what they're called. Is that Sorry, the... I'm not a necron guy. The big, the big blade, the big blade. Oh guy yes, yes, with yes. The three legs. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Three of them. So, of that, you know, assortment of models. Do you have a favourite of the list that you know you or? A point where you were like, you know, I get this, I know what I'm doing, and this sort of the painting has been has been the most fun and engaging. Or I think the I would probably say the the big fella, the big fella, the big spider. I, I think. think it was it's it was good in the way that as you're learning the techniques of you know, the painting and the stuff, the small guys were obviously. You know, you're you're getting used to the yeah, and that was and what you, that was what you first painted. That's as well, what I first was, started. Was the, was the warriors, yeah. But I think when it got to the when after doing that, you get to the the big the, the, big, the, spider. the big spider, and then it's just I don't know. I think it was just a bit more accessible. Yeah. I think a lot of the stuff, yeah, you yeah. know, to get to it. But then you can kind of uh, I don't know, just kind you of had your eye in a little bit more as well. Yeah, maybe. yeah. And and that was also kind of your first experience of choosing what bits were going to be gold and what bits were going to be silver because obviously the test model that Rowan did was a warrior and then kind of compared to everything else you can base off the warrior pretty easily like what an immortal oh sorry you also paid five immortals yeah what an immortal don't is forget gonna, it don't forget their immortals and then yeah so you can kind of look at a warrior and look at an immortal and you know pretty much what bits should be gold and what bits should be silver based on the That's what, what yeah, Rowan's yeah. test, whereas the spider, you kind of got a, you bit, guys more, just, a you, bit more free reign. You guys just said, go and choose, you know, go for the colours. Yeah, if you, you think this bit should be gold, paint it gold. If you think yeah. it should be silver, paint silver. Which was good and bad because you're then <laughs> sitting trying to work out... <laughs> choices. Choices. <laughs> choices, you know, and then underneath, you're kind of... My issue was, it was, for me, I looked at it and it's all like a tank. <laughs> and then I thought, practicalness, you know, and then I was thinking Tiger Tanks, World War Two. The I'm rear like, was used, was yeah. usually weaker. Don't worry, Dina's not painted a bright orange Tiger Tank. <laughs> no, spider. no, no, no. Yeah, the rear was probably weaker. Weaker. So, so yeah. then I thought underneath the the spider, would it be the same colours on top if that was armour? Yeah. But then I didn't think it would look right, so I went with what I thought, and then I changed this, and you know, trying to be more practical, over aesthetically pleasing, you know, the look. Yeah, yeah. So I tried to do, I tried yeah, to, yeah, to do of, them both together. You know? I, think, I think that's where me and Rowan differentiate a little bit on our painting, and the C's definitely goes for what looks best. I think you know, he will he will paint a model to make it look best, whereas I will think I'll paint a model to what I think makes sense. Um, and yes. it's, yeah, it's good. I'm kind of similar. Yeah, you know. it's, uh, I think it's good if you can have a mix of those things as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, no, it's good that you yeah. that. Having some independence shone through, and you enjoyed <laughs> yeah. painting the spider. Um, but yeah, we will probably wrap up there. Um, but Dean will be painting another a few more pieces. Yeah, we'll have to go over that and stuff. Yeah, a couple into... hundred points for us. Um, of, well, for the next sesh. For the next sesh of Necrons, and yeah, we'll be back then. Well, we'll be back before then with a small little tester battle report for Dean and for you of sort of Warhammer from the beginning. Anyway, enjoy us. Enjoy us. Well, <laughs> enjoy us. Enjoy and us. Join us on uh, the Brothers Gun Dark again soon. Catch you.